Get full access to all of our lessons with the Chinese for Us Premium Membership. Hi, 你们好，我是 Lily. Welcome back. In topic one, we learned how to say our nationality, and we used four new characters. Now we'll learn how to recognize and write them. So here are the four characters: 是中国人 And we have two Chinese radicals today. The first one, 日 It means the sun. In ancient times, it was written like this. So it just looked like the sun. The second one, border, and this is how you write it: E R. Sun. So when you write border, never go like this or go like this. It won't look right like that. You'll see a perfect example of how a character takes use of the meaning of border in just one minute. Here are the four characters again. Now, can you find the radical 日 the sun? Here it is, in 是 and border in 国 country. Every country has its border, right? You're probably wondering how 是 To be has anything to do with zhi, the sun. It's because characters were created a very long time ago, and some of their meanings have changed. So not every character's meaning is related to its radicals anymore. And now we'll learn how to memorize the characters in a better way. Shi can be divided into the top and the bottom. Zhong and ren are simple characters, 独体字 In ancient times, people wrote "ren" this way, just like a person with their arms down. "Guo" is a new construction for us: the outside and the inside. And our last step will be writing them. So we start from the first one: "shi," one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 九画 nine strokes. Second one, 一二三四四画 four strokes. And 国一二三四五六七八八画 eight strokes. And the last one, very easy. 一二 Two strokes. So that's all of the characters for this lesson. Don't forget to do the quizzes. You'll find yourself reading and writing the characters so much easier. You can find them on the lesson page on our website. The link is right underneath this video. Also, don't forget to sign up on our website to get more learning materials. And please subscribe, like, comment, and share. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next lesson. 谢谢，再见。